one of the reasons. <laughs> uh, 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 that was uh, one of the, the main reasons that we that we wanted to make this movie was because it felt like it had a very very classic feel to it, um, like the Die Hards. Well, of course, um, you know this is a movie. Uh, this is fiction, and this is a this is a terrorist cell that happens to be North Korean, as opposed to the North Korean government uh, attacking the White House. But um, you know there are real threats out there. The White House is the uh, ultimate prize um, for a terrorist, and the president is uh, the golden goose. He's the golden ring. So everybody's trying to get the president of the United States, and what that would mean to the world. Um, this film happens to be about the unsung heroes that uh, keep the president safe, uh, and that's um, uh, uh, Jerry's character. So um, it's unfortunate the world for the world, um, but hopefully uh, diplomacy will prevail. Uh, president, President Bush Senior, I saw it with his wife the other day as well. It looks, it looks like they're, you know, they're, all, they're all getting there eventually. Il presidente Bush senior, per il Bush padre, l'ha visto con la consorte appunto l'altra sera e alla fine sembra che appunto la felice sia arrivata a tutti. You explain that in a way of saying uh accusatory. No, no, no. No, that's it's a joke. But um you know, like um wow, you guys are doing well because of this uh the, this Korean conflict. I mean you make if we made a movie about Jamaican terrorists, nobody would be interested in going to see it. You know, you make a, you make a movie about what is relevant and what is hitting us in here, in here, you know, in our hearts. What, what is, what is scaring us? What is, um, what is keeping us on our toes? And, and, and what is deep within us? So that's one of the reasons why I, I think the movie is so engaging and evolving and powerful because. This is so relevant. It was relevant last year as well, by the way. The Korean crisis didn't just start last week. It's been going on for a long time. It's just bad now, but it has been bad before. And it will no doubt be bad again. Well, I mean, um, every American kid um, is brought up to believe that he can become president of the United States. Um, uh, it's sort of every kid's dream, and um, so it was very nice for me to play the President of the United States because I have a lot of respect for my country and uh, for the office of the President. Um, when Antoine uh, first talked to me, he talked to me about uh, the President being young and athletic and, and energetic, and he talked about JFK. Um, because JFK uh, seemed to embody this youthfulness and charisma and charm, but also a toughness. Um, we talked about um, uh, President Barack Obama. Um, he asked me, uh, or we talked about this opening scene, this boxing scene. Um, he wanted the president to be tough so that uh, we could believe that the president could take care of himself in the face of this crisis and uh, still be a leader. Um, so it was an honor to play the president. Um, and uh, uh, that's it. It just seems to be the way it goes in movies, that they're either making two submarine movies or two um, alien movies or two um, Cinderella movies. <laughs> are two movies about blowing up the White House. Uh, maybe, again, it refers back to my earlier answer that uh, you make movies about the time that you live in, and the time that we're living right now, uh, you know, our greatest institutions feel like even they are not safe. So that's, uh, that's a that's a kind of interesting concept, and of course, if a terrorist just wants to get some bang for his buck, um, and he's gonna he's gonna go for the for the um, for the most publicity he can get, and he's gonna go to the he's gonna go to the White House. So I think that's probably why both movies chose that. And again, just because it's it, it makes it a 
something is an emotionally more powerful and exciting experience. 